Hello there YouTube, Devin here again, and today I have a video for you on a pretty awesome helmet accessory actually, well a series of helmet accessories um, that I own that uh, was suggested to me in a comment if I have ever used one of these, and in fact I have used not only all the versions of what they were asking about in the comment, but I have a few additional parts made by the same company as well. And uh, what I'm referring to is the uh, Thermatux Kool-Aid uh, Cool Gear Helmet Inserts. Um, now, I actually have both versions of these, as you can see. I have the older Pazgat one uh, with the packaging, brand new. Uh, and I have a few of these uh, ACH or Mitch ones um, with the uh, original packaging, brand new. Uh, I actually have three of these. Uh, two are currently in helmets. Um, but I have this one here, brand new, in the bag still, actually. So if anyone's interested in one of these, these are becoming incredibly hard to find um, because they are uh, no longer, this company no longer exists. Um, so uh, it is a very, very heavily built, very well built um, insert that you could put into your helmet uh, that will uh, allow you to cool yourself uh, very easily. It's made out of... Uh, a bunch of nylon products and it's filled with these um um well i could just pause this uh here so you could uh read it it's uh basically uh these three little channels as you can see here in this picture up here uh and they're just tubes of fabric that are filled with um these little like crystals that absorb water and they expand uh, to create a pad and they hold their temperature very very well uh, so what you do is you cover them in water and then you throw them in the into a cooler or in the fridge for a few hours and then you stick them in your helmet and uh, it helps maintain your uh, temperature very well um, and they integrate into uh, your helmet very easily uh, as well as these bags have care instructions on them these have skyrocketed in price if you could find them because they are so rare and they are they do work very very well so if somebody's interested in one uh, feel free to leave me a comment with your offer on it and uh, I could possibly send you this brand new ACH one I got here um, uh, but we're gonna go into not only the PASGAP model and the ACH model, but I actually have a sweatband made by them as well. Uh, now the sweatbands are the rarest to find of these three products that they made. And um, I love the sweatband the most actually. I have two of the sweatbands for my PASGAT. Um, so we'll get into the PASGAT first. Now this is my, old, uh, I call it my, my Rolls Royce because it's a PASGAT with all the rarest attachments you could possibly get on it. it has the countermine cover, it has three point, the late three point paratrooper chin strap, the uh, foam nape pad, uh, the Thermatux Kool Aid liner, and the Thermatux Kool Aid uh, sweatband. So uh, this is the Rolls Royce of a PASGAT helmet, but as you can see, I have the the uh, liner installed, and they're basically the same, the ACH and the PASGAT one, um, except for obviously the. PASGAT one has longer Velcro tails on it to wrap around the suspension. Um, but other than that, they function exactly the same. They're the exact same size and they work exactly the same. Um, now the sweatband on the other hand is a little bit different. It's this uh, moisture wicking, very soft kind of silky fabric uh, around neoprene, essentially. Uh, neoprene foam, uh, which is machine washable. And it... Uh, absorbs stink and sweat and everything very well as well as being very comfortable and it works the same way it will absorb the water and the sweat and you could put it in the refrigerator and and cool it so in combination with all of these uh it really helps to regulate your head temperature which is where most of your body heat is going to be lost and everything like that so this is this is a huge creature comfort on most battlefields and everything like that and i'm really sad to see that this company went under um, or, well, sold or out or whatever it did, uh, but it doesn't exist anymore. And they no longer make these products, which I'm sad to see because they made some very, very awesome products. Um, so you, there's uh, what you could see there in the uh, PASGAT, the uh, Kool-Aid sweatband and the Kool-Aid um, liner there, Thermatux liner uh, for the PASGAT. And we can... Now move on to the more common one, uh, the ACH one here, and um, here's the uh, 
ACH version, it is pretty much the same thing, except now there is no longer uh, these huge tails on it. It has these two kind of short tails on each side for attaching to your helmet that are loop on one side and hook on the other so you could still attach your pads over it. Um, and then it has these little squares of Velcro that you can see down, down here as for attaching it to the crown area. So you're supposed to remove the crown pad from your helmet when it does this, and it seems very low uh, profile right now. Um, but that's just how it is. Now how I, I just installed this one the way it is like this. I've actually only used this ACH one. I haven't used my, either of my Pazgat ones or the other ACH one that I own. Um, I've only used this one and I normally don't run it vertically like this. I run it horizontally uh, because that's where the air channels are in my helmet. I purposely leave my pads like this so they have airflow. So if you turn it so these two air uh, vents right here are facing the other way, you're going to have better air flow through your helmet, which is going to help maintain your temperature as well. Um, but as you can see, it seems pretty low profile. There's really nothing here between the shell, but this these will expand. They blow up uh, when you get them wet and you cool them. So they work uh, incredibly well. Um, they take a long time to dry. Um, so if you don't like that kind of soggy head feeling, uh, these really aren't for you, but if you overheat very well in your helmet, um, this might be an option to explore. Uh, these do not pass inspection, by the way, so do not wear these um, unless you're pre-authorized to use them or you're certain you're not going to get caught um, because they technically uh, violate the safety protocols of the helmet. So, But they work incredibly well. Now, the one thing uh, you need to know is after you use them, these little crystal bits, these sand chunks or whatever is in here, tend to clump together and they turn into like one kind of cake. So you have to take like a, a rock or something or just like hit it on the table uh, to break up the crystals again if you want to reuse it. It'll be just as effective the second time you use it, but you just got to make sure you break up the uh, whatever is in these little channels after you're done using it. Or otherwise they'll stay in a hard cake and then the next time you fill them up it's going to take a uh, lot longer for it to expand and cool so you just want to make sure you break it up after you're done using it but it's a world of difference using these um so i really can't speak any higher of this product actually i'm really sad to have seen them go uh having used them for personal experience they do uh tend to cut into your head a little bit uh the the abrasive uh this fabric is basically nylon um so if you don't have any hair and your skin, well, let's say, at first you're, you're wearing this, okay? And it's in perfect condition, and it's, you know, and it's keeping your head very cool and stuff like that. But once your skin gets wet, because this is will be wet as it cools down, there'll be condensation and stuff, this fabric is kind of abrasive. And if you don't have any hair, like a lot of people in the military, it'll tend to rub on your head, and it kind of rubs your, your skin a little raw. Um... If you have hair, you won't have to worry about that. That's not, not a problem. Um, but just as your skin becomes kind of waterlogged and stuff like that, this fabric is kind of becomes kind of abrasive is all, all I'm saying. That's my only downfall with it. And the fact that there's only three channels. So if your helmet has like, let's say the night vision mount and all of the battery pack and everything on it, then it weighs a lot. These tend to put more pressure on your head because the weight isn't distributed as evenly it's mostly sitting on this one channel here in the middle um which kind of you know cuts into your head a little bit uh once again that's a that's a cost benefit analysis you're going to have to do um it, it helps more if you you turn it sideways uh like i normally wear it uh because then you have that uh normally your head is longer than it is wide so that helps with the weight distribution a little bit, but it, it, it comes down to, I highly recommend giving these a try. If you have a problem with uh, being really warm in your helmet, this would be a good solution for you if you can find one. Once again, they're becoming incredibly rare and the price is going up on them. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed this review because these are these are some great products here. If you, once again, if you couldn't find them and I'm, I'm really hoping that um, you guys can if you're interested in finding one. Uh, your best chance of finding these right now would be like a smaller surplus shop or eBay. Um, some people have them on eBay and they don't know what they are and you can still get them for like 10 to 20 bucks. Um, but a lot of people know what they are and you, they're usually a lot more expensive than that now. So 
Like I said, if somebody wants uh, one of these, an ACH one, make me an offer in the comments and I'll see what I can do for you. Highest bidder gets it. So brand new in the package comes with the instructions, mint condition. So, but uh, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys like this video. Hopefully you like this review. Thank you for suggesting this video. Um, if you have any videos like this uh, that you would like to suggest, maybe I could do another uh, video like this and get some more information out there for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you're interested in seeing a review on my uh, Rolls Royce Pazgat, um, as far as all the parts and everything on it and what's on it, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll do a full video on that as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.